Hey guys, it's Justin. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have my top five iPhone tips that you need to know. Here they are. My first iPhone tip is one that literally blew my mind. And that is being able to use the space bar to navigate around your text. So this is how you do it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down on the space bar and you see what happens? I can actually move it all around this text and it literally makes editing so much easier. You're gonna actually enjoy emailing on your phone now. Next one, finding apps. I rarely ever go and look for an app. I just swipe down, type in like the first two letters of an app and bada bing bada boom, you got the app. Love it. Okay, next, you can actually record your iPhone screen and create videos. You first have to set it up. First, let me just show you. It's gonna be in this area right here. See all these different abilities I have? And actually, I'm doing it right now to show you this. So that's the recording button. In order to customize this control center, you need to go to your settings and then go to control center and then customize controls. In here, you can add a plethora of apps. There's the alarm app, there's voice memos, which I use all the time, low power mode, easy access to that. And the one I'm telling you right now is screen recording. So I added that in and then all you do to access it is swipe down and you're gonna tap that record button and then it will give you like a three, two, one. And the way you know it's recording is that the time in the top left corner will be red. I use this all the time to show my parents how to do things on the iPhone. If there's like a private account on Instagram, then I'll just record it and I'll send it to them. There you go. This next feature was one that we've wanted for a very long time and that's being able to quickly switch between your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth and a few other things. You swipe down your control center from the top right corner and you can hold down this box up here and right there you can actually change your Wi-Fi just by holding down on it and then there you go. Then also on Bluetooth, you can do the same thing. And then you can also turn on your personal hotspot and change your airdrop. This was just added in iOS 13. So if you aren't upgraded, you should so that you have that. And this last one's one of my favorites because I love math and that's being able to use Siri to do some calculations. Hey Siri, what is six plus seven plus 128 times 100? That would be 12,813. Cool. Yeah, so when you're doing finances and you're doing budgets or expenses, you can just quickly read out your like Excel spreadsheet numbers. Well, I guess you could also just do the equation in Excel. So if you're not in Excel and you're in your notes, you know, you could read those out and Siri will do that calculation for you. Those are the iPhone tips that I have for you today, but stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a top five feature request video for Apple because there are some features that they need to include and still have it. And also they need to fix Find My Friends. I really just need them to fix it because I miss how it used to work. Anyway, if you guys have any iPhone tips, why don't you leave those in the comments below because I want to know what they are. Also, I have a lot of content coming out. I'm going to CES in a couple weeks and I'll be pouring pouring out videos, so why don't you guys subscribe to this channel and give it a like if you enjoyed it. That's all I've got for you guys today. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.